Good Saturday morning. Uh, it's a chilly day again in upstate New York. We went from 65 down to 25. Oh, what a bummer. But today, <clears throat> before, excuse me, today, before I get back into part two of my um, baby book that I'm making, I thought I'd do a little journal with me in my personal um, memory keeping journal. And so my husband and I went to go see 80 for Brady and we just loved it. <laughs> Now, I loved uh, Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda and Grace and Frankie, and so I thought this would be a really, you know, fun movie to go see, because they're so funny in that movie. And it reminded me of when I was a little girl in the 60s. Um, my parents actually took me to go see Jane Fonda in Barbarella. Yeah, that memory sticks out in my mind. 60 years later. <laughs> so anyway, um, you know, they're both in their 80s. Sally Field is in her 70s. And Rita Marino is in her 90s. These ladies are not going to be around much longer. So I wanted to document going to see that movie. And I finished this one already. But I do get Art Magazine. Um, I found this on the cover. and So I'm going to just... Hold it up and maybe into thirds and just put that in the pocket. That's the best thing I can think of to do for this. Okay, let's see. And there's kind of all four of them on the front. Let's, yeah, I think we'll just do that. And now we'll struggle to get it in the pocket again. There. That's much better for that. All right, so I, I don't have to cover up the picture of my cute little dog. <laughs> this is my grandson. I'll glue this here. Make a little pocket. And uh, I, I really like that movie a lot. My daughter said she read the book. I didn't even know it was a book. <laughs> she read it in 2020. So she wants to go see the movie too. And she likes to see how much of the movie is you know, accurate to the book. So, I like to do that too when I've read the book. And we're going to put that like that. I am going to get a little tag. I have a bunch of tags that I've pre-made. Uh, I have like a tag cutter. And I have some that I bought. Some, you know, some of these. What do you call that? craft paper tags but maybe we'll have a pretty tag how about blue because um, the background of that is blue um, maybe I'll just no that's where the pocket is going to go maybe I'll just put this up here and then it can just like um, in my other spread of the other movie so let's do that I'm going to glue the Actually, I think glue might ruin the ticket, which I have now lost. <laughs> I've lost my tickets. Oh, underneath it. Um, I am just going to uh, use double-sided tape for that. I'm going to cut a little bit off this, the edges because I want to see some of the blue. And I will get my double-sided tape tape from Dollar Tree and we'll just put that on like that and I'll get another little flower um, what do you call it Brad to attach that so let's do this of course I'm not right on it of course I think I've tried to glue little t tickets like this and they, it, the glue kind of smudged the printing. I don't know. I know that does it on the Amazon, like thank you notes that come in there. But I'm not sure if, it, if this is the same kind of paper and ink. I think it is. So 
I don't want to ruin the ticket. And I'll probably put the other ticket in the uh, envelope that I'm going to, or the pocket. Oh, maybe I'll make an envelope instead of a, just a pocket. That'd be cute. To cut off this extra tape here, we don't want any pages sticking together. I'm going to put that like that. And I have my brads, and there is a blue one in there. So I'll take that out. I love these brads. I think I got them at um, Michael's years ago. I don't know if they still have them. But um, I'm just going to use my pokey tool for that. I don't think I need to... Um, let's see, where am I going to put it? Right up here. Is that on camera? And yeah, I'll just like that. Maybe a little lower. Poke it through there. Take my brad. And just do that. So now it can be moved. And that's that. And now I'm going to get some paper to make an envelope. I kind of think this daisy paper would be cute to go with the man called Otto. And I just got to kind of measure how wide it needs to be. Because I don't, you know, I want it to fit on the paper, obviously, on the page. So I'm going to cut it there. And, uh, and we'll figure out how we're folding it. And how we're... I don't think I'm going to get my sewing machine out. I don't know if you can hear my daughter snoring, but <laughs> she is going back to sleep. She's gotten this habit of wanting to be up till around 2 a.m. And then she sleeps. She wakes up several times and wakes up to at like 6.30 to about 8 and then takes a nap and it is kind of annoying but it gives me some free time too which without any programs or anything still available or available yet I should say um, there's not much for her to be awake for really but um, she has does have a an aid friend that comes a couple times a week and they do they go out and do things and of course we take her out and do things too but um not quite the same as having real activities to do like the ymca doesn't have the activities that she used to do um, no day programs are open to community clients only those that are living in group homes and that is something that will be in Bethany's future that we're working on being a group home um, but they don't have enough staffing to have new people it's it's a real problem they actually are closing houses down because there's not enough staff it's actually kind of scary um, I think I should cut it right about here because my husband and I are getting older and we want, want to see her happy in her future home before we die, you know, but what are you going to do? There's not a lot you can do about it until something changes and it's not just a state, sorry, it's not just a state problem, it's a national problem so that's gonna go right there I think that looks cute and I think I'm just going to tape it shut I'm gonna put a little notch here let's see where's my little let's do this one put a little notch right here try to get that as centered as possible all right and I'm going to round the corners. I got several different corner rounder punches. 
Some are big and some are little. And I even sometimes still have trouble lining it up properly so that it works properly. But that came out pretty good. So I'm going to double side tape that closed. And I'm going to double side tape it on to the page. And then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put the stuff in it and that will be done. So this is all for February. This journal is January, February, and March. And uh, let's get these back where they belong. Yep, January, February, and March. And I was doing a yearly journal, but it gets so big. And you can never really anticipate how much you're going to use. And I enjoy making the journals. So just making one a year was a little bit, um, you know, it wasn't something that I could enjoy doing more than once. <laughs> I don't have a lot of people to make journals for. I mean, you can give away just so many journals as gifts to your family members and friends. Um, I used to sell on Etsy, but it just, uh, it's just so complicated. <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. I do sell sometimes at craft shows. I'd like to do that more. Um, but, you know, when you're the 24-7 caregiver of someone who needs 24-7 supervision, it's hard to do much of anything, really. But someday I'll be able to do that. Oh, can you see what I'm doing here? I'm just putting strips of tape on. I used to think that this wouldn't last long and then the, everything would fall off. If I was selling, I, I would glue it too, but it's just for me. It's not going to be hot, have a high traffic <laughs> looking in it, so... I think this is good enough, and I'm notorious for getting glue all over everything. And this eliminates getting glue on places you don't want it. So how has the weather been where you live? I'm kind of sh shocked that it's been so warm, and even more shocked that geese are coming back and pairing up. And I saw a great blue heron. So, oh, <laughs> um, that is a sure, those are all sure signs that spring is near. And, you know, spring doesn't usually come around until late April here. So that's kind of shocking to me. So I'm going to put the receipt in here. I might journal a little bit about it at another time. And I'm going to put the other ticket in there. And um, we're going to call this spread done.